anointed in this kind of situation no matter what he's done you should, you should leave it for the church no. to handle no is that do, do you every, want that to happen no okay everybody who is a child of god every born again priesthood is an anointed of god okay there are no special anointed people of god everyone who's giving their life to christ as a christian is an anointed person of god we're not fighting the church this is not a fight against the church okay this is a fight against a sin that was committed rape is a rape is an offense under the laws of nigeria okay now we're saying that let there be an investigation there is an allegation okay let there be an investigation all we ask step down and let there be a thorough and an independent investigation that's all we ask that's all you ask all investigation but what happens if an investigation takes place and it's found not guilty let the investigation take place you just want to investigate yes yeah. this is going to serve as a deterrent to those who are taking the name of the lord in vain okay. yes the bible says that the name of the lord is a strong tower yes. most of us are christians i am a christian like i say yes. most of the advocates here we are christians but you see this is embarrassing a lot of people have stopped going to church if you remember the first person who said who made an allegation yes. we watered it down that girl doesn't go to church again that girl is now an atheist how many more people do we want to leave christ how many more people do we want to deny Christ because of the sin of one person? Yes. Okay, so this is this is just, like you said, it's not an attack against. It's the not an attack against the church. The fathers in the land, we are begging you to please say something. This is not an attack against the church. Number one, most importantly, we want to, we want to let Nigerians know that 
Um, we are not happy with what happened. Right? Um, we stand in solidarity with, uh, with uh, so the people and all the survivors in this country that has, that has been harassed and molested. The people that they trust. And most especially, it's sad that this is happening in the church of God. Okay. And uh, it's a pity that we don't have our church leaders and uh, those parties speaking out because people need to condemn this. Right? And uh, what, we're, what we're doing here is to tell people that this is just the beginning of what we're doing. Right? And uh, we'll continue and make sure that see, justice is served for us. When you say justice, what exactly are you calling to step down? You don't want to call himself over to this is This is beyond stepping down, okay. right? We we'll, we'll ask the state, because this is a crime against the state. Okay. The state should step in and prosecution and everything should be done in the right way. And that is what we want. And so that the, the victims themselves, not just Busala, not just Esther Waters, they're all over social media. A lot of them, these are somebody's sister, somebody's daughter, somebody's friend, somebody's cousin, and the rest of them. And we can't keep quiet, all right? So, and for the people that are quiet, they say that it cannot be quiet in the face of oppression. So anybody that is neutral or is quiet is on the side of the rapist, and that is our stand. And Nigerians must condemn this thing from the church to the mosque, to the mass to the, to the market, and to the schools, and for the lecturers, and to the veterans that, 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 that molest students, that sexually abuse them. We are coming for you. This is just the beginning. Okay, so, ma'am, I can see your, your poster. It says, when, 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 why, how, it doesn't matter. Take stand. Take stand against it. Take stand against it. Against rape and um, sexual harassment in any form. Any form of harassment to women. They will be offended, they will be scapegoats. Okay. Yes. So how can it's too many. Okay. It's one out of ten that has just spoken up. We have been hearing a series of testimonies about Pastor Piyadi Patoni. And, we, and I said, they will be offended, they will be scapegoats. Pastor Piyadi Patoni is going to be the scapegoats to other irresponsible men that call themselves men of God. Which mouth and stomach has called not the real anointing of God. Because it is written in the Bible. Many are called, few are chosen. Yes. And on the judgment day, it is passed on the court of God. So the, the real pastor, the real man of God, worship the God is truth and his spirit. Yes. So you and God also knows those who serve him. So what you're saying now is you want to use this pastor as an example. Yes. As an example. To other areas. Men and men of God. And we stand to say no to rape. Even in our, in our Asian, 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 Asian industries, where women are being employed, are being harassed, are being molested, daily babies. Because they're looking for ways of surviving. But yes, this is all aimed at making sure everything is Yes. Today is Sunday. We have to be in the church and everyone else. This is our worship day today. Yes. This is our own church. This is our own church. This is our own church today. We want to use Pastor Piyogu as a scapegoat. We want to use Pastor Ibo as an as an example to all those out there, all those heavy to do it, all those that are not respect women, girls. Any female that does that they does not respect. Yes, we are saying no to rape. Any form of discrimination against women, we are saying no to it. Men should come out and respect women. We are their mother. We are their small girl. We are their one. Without us, they won't be there. Yes, no women, no nation. No women, no crime. They should respect women. They should respect women. As a mother, as a concerned mother, as a Nigerian woman, as an advocate of women, as an advocate of women, as a community woman, 